WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, looks like very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have a mixed bag out there. That mix goes like this. The Dow's up 1%. That's 350 points. About six tenths for the S&P, or 23 points. Six tenths for the NASDAQ, 169 points. The Russell's up uh, about four tenths of a percent. That's eight points. The semis are up 41. The trannies are up 139. Gold's trading out at 1947. That's up two bucks, while silver's down 10 cents. Trade out at 23.73. Light sweet crude is off 54 pennies. 78.32 is the print there. Natural gas down 11 cents. And a 30 year treasury is up 11 ticks. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We'll begin with taking a look at the ES mini. We can see prices consolidating with inside that new profile that formed two days ago. Resistance is at 40.88, support is at 4,005. Spot volatility, although it's trading higher this morning, it is still. Below its 50 day exponential moving average. That currently is printed out at 2131. That's the level price needs to close above in order to suggest that the sellers have a turn at the uh, markets out here. If you take a look at the NQ, also like the ES Mini, consolidated with inside that new profile, you've got support at 11808, resistance at 12208. Speaking of consolidations, let's go take a look at the U.S. dollar index. It is consolidating between 101.40 and 102.23. Well, let's continue with the consolidations. Gold, silver, light sweet crude. Gold is trading between 1930 and 1961. It's profile level. Silver between 23.47 and 24.04. Light sweet crude between 77.34 and 81.77. And natural gas, if it closes, if it were to close, well, if it closes below 268, it negates its roads momentum indicator bottom, suggests we still have lower price to go. And the 30-year treasury, even though it's up a few ticks, it is um, trading between support and resistance. Resistance is clearly at 132.15. That's a prior swing point. And support right now is the top of its daily profile. And that's up at the 129.04 level. So it's all going to be about the uh, Fed. Uh, probably the 2.30 to 3.30 time frame will be the most interesting. Uh, are there any market tells? The answer is no. I don't see a single one. The market tell is expect a consolidation. Don't expect any uh, pullback to be substantial. In other words, the ES Mini should find support at 4,005, the NQ at 11,808. But if we take out those highs and those descending trend lines, well, then it's a move to the upside. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your day, please have a wonderful one. And we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.